uh, Lawfare Project CEO Brooke Goldstein and former senior advisor to President Trump, Stephen Miller. Uh, Brooke, let me start with you. We now have forensic teams that have been examining the bodies of Israeli women killed by Hamas. What they have found is widespread rape and torture and mutilation. Uh, it is even worse than we thought in the beginning. Uh, but to f try and create a moral equivalency between innocent women, innocent uh, kids being killed in, uh, at a concert, uh, even babies beheaded at, with Hamas, the terrorist organization. How do you, how do you even attempt to have moral equivalency here? There is none. And from an international law perspective, the Rome Statute is very clear that sexual violence used as a war tactic is a crime against humanity for which there is no justification. And yet this is being used throughout the Islamist world. Bashar al-Assad, for example, is using it in Syria. We saw ISIS use it in Iraq against uh, Yazidi women. And we see Hamas use it not just against Israelis, but against their own people there. Hamas has gone around and arranged the systemic rape of Palestinian women so that they are shamed and then they recruit them for suicide homicide attacks. And what we saw with the Congresswoman really was a stunning display of insensitivity and really showed the true colors of the progressive wing of the Democratic Party. They don't care about women. They don't care about minority rights. She can't even bring herself to unequivoc unequivocally condemn the rape of women in a war context. And that is because of the politicization of the human rights movement and human rights organizations such as UN Women, which it took eight weeks for them to condemn this. They have become the mouthpieces of radicalization because their hatred of the Jewish people and the Jewish state is so great that they've lost all context and all credibility. What do you, how do you explain, Stephen Miller, if you even can, why this should be an issue of clear moral clarity here. Uh, Israel didn't start this war. Israel didn't want this war. Israel, Israel will win this war, in my view, um, only because they have to. They have gone to extraordinary lengths, dropping leaflets, hitting cell phones, doing everything possible, telling the innocent people uh, in Gaza where they can go to, specifically where they will be safe. In other words, that they will not attack those areas. Uh, what more do we expect Israel to do, especially when their very survival is at stake? Because most people don't seem to know that in Hamas's own charter, it calls for the destruction of Israel. Hamas is committed to the extermination of Jews and the Jewish state. No nation in history has done more to try to minimize civilian casualties in prosecuting an existential war than Israel. And few organizations in all of history have done more to terrorize, target, and mutilate innocent civilians than Hamas. That piece of tape you played from Congresswoman Jayapal could be one of the most heinous tapes, clips I've ever heard from a member of Congress. She even lightly chuckles in her answer, talking about how we have to be balanced here. We don't want to have a hierarchy of oppression, right? We have to put this in some kind of context. These are things that happen in war. The fact that she cannot state clearly, plainly, unequivocally, with outrage, that Hamas's rape, brutalization, sexual attacks and predation of Jewish woman is a monstrosity and an evil. The fact that she can't say that makes her unfit, not only to be a member of Congress, but to have any role in public life in this country whatsoever. The Democrat Party, Sean, has an anti-Semitism problem, it has an anti-Jew problem, and it has an anti-Americanism problem, and that piece of tape proves it. Last word, Brooke. Well, I think he's absolutely right. And it's time for a reckoning. The American people must stand up. This is not just a Jewish issue. This is an issue for all Americans. And we face a great national security threat when our leaders are radicalized and now the teachers are radicalized on our college campuses. We all must be concerned about this. All right, Brooke, thank you. Stephen, thank you.